everyone welcome to my virtual class i am mom j and i'm your teacher for today happy learning ang lesson natin sa araw nito ay problem solving involving simplifying rational algebraic expressions. So, application na po tayo ng simplifying rational algebraic expressions. So, apply natin siya into a real life situation. Pero bagong lahat, let's have a short review. So, translate each verbal phrase into an algebraic expression. So, let's have number 1, 20 degrees by 5. So, ang keyword natin dito ay decrease. So, many subtractions. So, i-subtract natin si 20 by 5. So, we have 20 minus 5. Number 2, a number increased by 12. So, ang keyword natin dito ay increase. So, meaning addition. So, a number. So, kahit anong letter ito. So, kahit anong variable. So, pwede na lang si x by 12. So, x plus 12. Number 3, 6 more than P. So, ang word natin dito ay more than. So, hindi po siya 6 plus P, kundi P plus 6. Ayan. Number 4, 5 less than N. So, hindi po siya 5 minus N, kundi N minus 5. So, ang word natin ay less than, so subtraction. So, N minus 5. So, 5 less than N. And number 5, the quotient of 5 and 8. So, meaning quotient. So, ibig sabihin, divide yun. So, ayan. So, 5 and 8. So, 5 over 8. Ayan. So, familiarize, familiar naman na kayo sa uh, mga keywords at kung paano in-translate ang isang verbal phrase ito ang algebraic expression. So, madali na yan or madali na nating masusolve ang isang problem solving or ang mga problem in simplifying rational algebraic expression. So, solve na tayo. So, the area of a rectangle is x squared plus 3x minus 4. The length of the rectangle is 3x minus 3. So, determine the width of the rectangle. So, solution. So, ang given natin, so the area of a rectangle is equals to x squared plus 3x minus 4. And the length of a rectangle is 3x minus 3. And we're looking for the width of the rectangle. So, ang formula ng rectangle or area ng rectangle ay length times width or simply A equals L times W. And we're looking for the width of the rectangle. So, nawawala si width. So, hahanapin natin siya. So, apply na natin kung yung simplifying rational algebraic expression dito sa ating problem. So, A equals L times W. So, ang area natin ay x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals. So, ang length naman natin ay 3x minus 3 W. So, pagka ganito, di ba ang ginagawa natin para ma-eliminate yung katabi ng ating variable, which or yung ating width, magdi-divide tayo both side by 3x minus 3. So, divide natin siya by 3x minus 3. So, makakancel na natin yan. So, x squared plus 3x minus 4 over 3x minus 3 is equals to w. Yan. So, isusolve na natin para mahanap natin si w. So, W is equals to x squared plus 3x minus 4 over 3x minus 3. So, symmetric property lang. Ayan. So, factor natin si x squared plus 3x minus 4. So, ang factor niya ay quantity x plus 4 times quantity x minus 1 over, so, factor din natin si 3x minus 3. So, 3 times quantity x minus 1. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong makakancel, which is x minus 1. So, ang matitira na lamang ay x plus 4 over 3. So, that will be our width. Ayan. So, the width of the rectangle is x plus 4 over 3. Ayan. Yan yung ating sagot. Nakuha ba? Let's try another one. Let's have number 2. The width of a rectangle is 3 cm more than thrice the length. 
the perimeter is 246 centimeters. So, what are the dimensions of the rectangle? So, solution. So, ang given natin, so the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 246 centimeter. And the width of a rectangle is equal to 3 centimeter more than twice the length. So, kailangan natin interest si 3 centimeter more than twice the length into a mathematical expression. Pero bago yan, we let L as the length of a rectangle. Yan. Ilelet natin si L as the length of the rectangle para ma-translate natin itong uh, verbal phrase na to into mathematical expressions. So, magiging 3L plus 3. So, 3 cm more than thrice the length. So, 3L plus 3. So, ang formula ng perimeter ng rectangle ay twice the length plus twice the width or simply P is equals to 2L plus 2W. So, we're looking for dimensions. So, the length and the width of the rectangle. So, isob na natin siya. So, P is equals to 2L plus 2W. So, ang perimeter natin sa given or sa problem ay 246 equals. So, dahil wala tayong length, kukopy lang natin yung nasa formula which is 2L plus 2. At ang width natin ay 3L plus 3. So, 2 times quantity 3L plus 3. And let's simplify natin yung ating equations. So, 246 equals to 2L plus, so multiply natin si 2 by 3L plus 3. So, we have 6L plus 6. Combine similar terms. So, 2L plus 6L is equals to 8L plus 6. Ayan. And then, itranspose natin si 6 sa left side para L na lang matitira dyan si 8L or simply uh, add a ne negative 6 to both sides. So, addition property of equality. So, isolve na natin. So, negative 6 plus 246 is equals to 240. Equals, so, magiging 8L na lang kasi 6 plus negative 6 is equals to 0. So, 8L equals 240. So, dahil we're looking for the length, dahil wala naman tayong length sa given, i-divide natin siya into, uh, by 8. So, divide both sides by 8. So, L is equals to, so, 240 divided by 8 is equals to 30. So, meron na tayong length. So, width is equals to 3L plus 3. So, dahil nakuha na natin si length, uh, hanapin naman natin si width. Kasi yung width natin dito ay naka-verbal phrase. So, kailangan natin siyang hanapin. So, W equals 3. So, ang L natin ay 30. So, 3 times 30 plus 3. So, 3 times 30 is equals to 90 plus 3. So, 90 plus 3 is 93. So, we have the length and we have the width. And we're looking for the dimensions of the rectangle. So, dimensions of the rectangle are 30 cm long and 93 cm wide. So, ayan po yung ating sagot. Number 3. If MJ drives 500 km in X plus 5 hours, then what is his average speed? Solution. So, ang given. So, distance that MJ drives is equal to 500 km. And the time that MJ drives is equal to x plus 5 hours. So, distance the object travels is equal to the rate of speed of the moving object times time the object moves. So, yun yung ating formula. So, d is equal to r times t. And we're looking for the speed or r, yung rate of speed of the moving object. So, D is equals to R times T. And we're looking for the, ano, the average speed. So, i-divide natin uh, si T both side. Kasi para si R na lang yung matitira sa right side. Ayan. So, R equals D over T. 
r equals, so ang distance natin ay 500 kilometer and ang ating time ay x plus 5. So, we have r equals 500 over x plus 5. So, the average speed that mg drives is 500 over x plus 5 kilometer per hour. So, yan yung po yung ating answer. So, ganun lang po siya kasimple. Number 4, Julio can paint the wall in 10 hours. So, what part of the wall is painted in 7 hours? So, kinukuha lang naman dito yung part ng wall na mapipinturahan into 7 hours. So, out of 10, an ilang part, oh, anong part yung, uh, anong part ng wall yung mapipaint in 7 hours? So, madali lang to. So, ito lang siya. So, solution. So, given time that Julio can paint the whole wall is equals to 10 hours. So, what part of the wall is painted in 7 hours? So, automatically, 7 over 10 hours. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Kasi portion lang naman yung kinukuha. So, sana may naintindihan kayo sa ating lesson sa araw na ito about problem solving which is um, application ng uh, simplifying rational algebraic expression. So, ganun lang naman siya kadali. So, kailangan lang naman natin i-analyze yung ating problem para makuha niyo yung mga tamang sagot. Okay, sana po may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Yun lamang po. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.